there's three partners involved in the fossil fuel brewing company. Um, uh, Chip Lambert and um, Rawl, who is actually the originated a company back in the 80s that uh, put together a, a, a small company that actually went around the world and collected amber samples. And he's a microbiologist at Cal Poly and uh, he heads that department. And this, uh, this company, uh, with a, their intent was to find uh, uh, single cell organisms that might be medicinally helpful. And the uh, majority of them ranged in, uh, were dated 35 to 45 million years. The one I'm working with was from Burma. It was a single cell uh, yeast cell, uh, very similar in structure to what we're using today for brewing beer. And it was found in the, in the stomach of a weevil, along with 250, 60 other cells that he extracted and we're trying to, to find some purpose for it medically. Uh, he is a home brewer, and so he decided to, to, to test the cell out and, and brew some beer with it, and it worked. It's actually Reminiscent, reminiscent of a lager, lager cell. A lot of brewers weren't interested. They thought it was maybe a hoax because when you're when you're talking about 45 million years, it's really sort of tough to get your your brain around that number. People obviously think maybe 45,000 years. No, it's 45 million. And the uniqueness of this is that yeast mutate every time they consume something. And it's a mother-daughter relationship, so it's very tight, and they mutate a little bit. So over 45 million years, yeast, what we use today, is we're, we're, uh, have mutated tremendously. What we've been doing is we, if we brew our, our wheat, we will take our wheat and we'll split it in half into two fermenters, and then we'll add our yeast, our typical Munich yeast, wheat yeast, and then we'll have we'll add the, the fossil fuel yeast. Uh, and it's a night and day characteristic. Uh, it's just, it just jumps right out. It's very complex. Uh, it reacts very differently in the way it clumps and settles out in the beer. Uh, it turns into almost like baseball clumps. Typical yeast is more like a silt. It falls to the bottom very evenly. Uh, and it ferments pretty, fairly violently, so it's a very quick fermentation for lager yeast or a little bit longer. Downtown Brewing was uh, actually the first one to brew with the yeast. Uh, they have a little small system. He's up on the Russian River area, and uh, Peter uh, was involved, and it, he did a couple styles with it. Uh, and it. But he doesn't have a production brewery, and he doesn't really have the, the ability to do what we can do here. He had a style that he did, and I did the, the wheat style. I have a, a sort of an Oktoberfest uh, amber style that's more closely you know, the color of what you think of, uh, of uh, let's say, it's something encased in amber, almost a sunset orange. It's available right now just here at the brewery. We are going to be available in the Foothills, Tahoe. Uh, maybe by September, October, we will have a distributor sign for the Central Valley Modesto. We're going to keep it very short, our tight area, because we still have a lot to do with uh, developing the, the beer carrot styles. So <clears throat> uh, that's where we are. We, we hope Bay Area we're going to self-distribute uh, about late fall probably.